Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. I want to get you here on the start of this project. We have a first of four greenhouses this man wants. They're going to be all photovoltaic, electric, hot water, radiant floor heat. They're all for propagation houses. They're not for growing greenhouse plants or vegetables. These are all for hardwood vegetated material, all of it propagated. They uh, started last fall and they finally decided they don't have the time to mess with it. And uh, I was going to do the floor heating anyhow. So I guess I'm going to take over the whole project. But this is uh, 16 foot wide. All of them are 48 foot long. There's going to be four of them. They got in a hurry and they started putting the things up. Let me show you a few things. Of course, this is a working nursery now. So we were here the other day when the irrigation was on. This is actually the little propagating house all these are replacing. But all the irrigation water run, runs right in here, runs right on through the greenhouse and goes. So one of the first things we're gonna start doing is digging a great big French drain all the way down this whole side. So that greenhouse cover will lay in the ground. We'll cover it over, put gravel on it. As you can see in the background, there's a bunch of other greenhouses. We're gonna dig a French drain down along that side and then we're going to come down on the outside of the other greenhouse so everything that's inside because of retaining water you don't want to retain any water in the growing area it'll breed up disease and everything else we're going to come right down the middle of this entire greenhouse with a drain right down french drain right down the entire middle we'll slope this floor this way the other part of the floor coming this way so all the irrigation water inside will drain out. Uh, this right here is a couple pallet loads of hard polished styrene insulation. I'll take you up on the other end and kind of show you how some of this will all work out. This right now they started, they put a single layer of plastic up. It'll end up with a double layer of plastic with a fan blowing air in between the two to give it a better insulation value. This end right here of the greenhouse will be the working end. Just inside the greenhouse, we're gonna put a propagating table up for all the cuttings and all to be worked on. So this end here will have a double door up against the ceiling, up against the roof here will be a DC powered uh, ventilation fan. On the inside, when it's all closed up, will be a couple DC powered circulation fans. Uh, it'll be a photovoltaic hot water heat system. All the circulation pumps, the fans, everything will be DC. Um, yet to determine how much it's gonna be, we will be using a solar powered hot, electric hot water system. Uh, the battery bank, everything else is, we are working on now, whether we're gonna try to tie them together, or each one's gonna stand alone. This first one's the first project, so it'll stand alone. So let me take you up on this other end and show you what we got planned. Okay. So real roughly, we laid out, we're trying to get the spacing. It's going to be a tray and a half wide. Because two trays is almost four foot, and it's just too far to reach over. We'll end up having three trays in the middle, all the way down this whole thing, but you can reach in one and a half easy. And a tray and a half on the other side, which will leave about 34 inch aisles. A little bit more than they need, but a whole lot better than not having enough. But we'll come in here, dig the French drain, grade all the dirt and gravel off, all the dirt so it drains into the middle, fill it over with gravel, put the ground fabric back down on it, and then the beds will be leveled up this way, side to side, lengthwise will just flow down the hill. It will then have hard polished styrene, be a double thermal break wall against the outside, and we're basically gonna glue this hard board into a tray It'll then have this black roll of pipe be laid about every six inches up and down all this, have all these rows on the hardboard insulation, be covered over with this fine gravel on top of it, and the trays will sit on it, and that'll be kept at somewhere between 65 and 70 degrees to pull the growth out of the rooted stems into the cuttings. Um, that's what this whole greenhouses are all for. Uh, be two, two circulating pumps, one on this whole first half, one on the second half. 
in this one section between these bows where these two by fours are is roughly where we think we're going to put the uh, hot water heating systems, the circulating pumps, electric control boards, everything's going to go right here in the middle of this thing. And we're trying to work out the size and shape and how it's all going to go. Uh, this end of the nursery, just to the left of this greenhouse, is all the pumps and wells. So we'll be able to tap in there for water and uh, try to get all that stuff done. But we're going to take you along. We have to build end walls on this thing. I don't know if we're going to use the honeycomb Lexan panels or a double insulated wall there. This end of the greenhouse here will have a single entrance door. Like I said, the other end will have a double for where the work will be going on. We're going to try to come up with a drop curtain if they only need half of this greenhouse to section it off. But we're going to take some more pictures and show you a few more things. And then we're going to start measuring, laying out, and figuring out what it's going to take to generate this much heat in the hot water. Whether we need one or two heaters in each one. All the um, heaters are photovoltaic. Uh, probably 48 or volts, something like that. That's what we got to work on yet. They all have a propane backup. Should uh, This is in the mountains of Western North Carolina, so if snow and all is a big problem, what we'll be doing is uh, they'll have the option of going to propane if they have to, to build up the rest of it. They're really just looking for floor heat. They were going to go with tables, and they were going to put them on top of them totes. But as you see, by the time you have the tote that high, you don't have a whole lot of room left to work in. So that's why they decided to go back down to the floor. And it's a work in process, and we're still lining up with dealers on parts and material, but we're going to take you along for this project. We're going to be working on it hard, hot, and heavy in the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll let you know how everything goes with it. Let me show you some pictures of the outside. We're putting these things just like this right here, one and a half trays wide. It's 20 foot total length on this thing. That comes out to about 30 trays on that outside bed, 50 cells in each one. If my math does right, that's 1,500 cuttings in that thing. It'd be 1,500 on the other side, plus the middle have to do some math and figure it all out well my math is correct got 1500 cells on either side uh 3000 in the middle which gives 6000 total uh on one half 12000 in the greenhouse so if anybody's interested let me know we're going to take you along as usual like subscribe tell your friends about it we're getting close to that 100 mark. we only a couple far off, so stay tuned. We'll let you know. You see my video there? Give me a shout.